To start, I am going to tell you everything up front, in case you don't make it to the end or walk out. I believe the memory works best when concentrating on up to three things, so I will keep it simple and tell you them. One, you are going to hell without Jesus. John 14:6. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father, God, except by me. Two, there are no other options or exclusions or exceptions. All have sinned personally, including you and I, and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 And three, if you forget me, you have lost nothing. But if you forget Jesus and what he did for you, you have lost everything. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Without Jesus, you are going to hell. It's as simple as that. No Jesus, no peace experientially. Have no Jesus, and you have no peace. You can only find your way to God with the right direction. Matthew 11:28 says, Come to me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, ye, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly of heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. Romans 5.1 We are justified by faith and have peace with God, and that through Jesus Christ. And Romans 5.8 God demonstrated his love in that while, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Believe on Jesus, and ye shall be saved. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Acts 16.1 Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and ye and your family shall be saved. And 1 John 4.13 By this we know that he abides in us, and we in him, because he has given us his Spirit. In the beginning of the Holy Bible, if it is true, the end must be true too. That's to all my Jewish friends out there. My goal of relating these verses in short three group allotments is to whet your appetite, not to be an exhaustive verse-by-verse -verse inductive Bible study. I want you to taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalm 34, 8. Hebrews 11:6 adds, Without faith it is impossible to please God. He who comes to God must believe he is, and he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. But how do we have faith? Romans 10.17 says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Many times a listener draws on the eloquence of a speaker instead of the majestic beauty of God's holy word, the Bible. I know I am not eloquent, but as 2 Corinthians 12.9 says, His grace is sufficient, His strength is made perfect in weakness. With that, I will end, and I will repeat things in order to enable recollection over and over again, many times, so that later you can recall them. And I will be patient with you, knowing that you might be Catholic, Lord grant mercy, and not read or write in your Bible, and even worse, transfer that exercise to other books, not highlighting. But far more than that, I will need patience with myself, more than anyone. What I repeat, I am trying to learn, so bear with me. God bless, and thank you for listening and viewing my videos.